the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, my dear family of God. Holy God series welcomes you to the fourth Sunday of Lent in the liturgical year B. It is also known as the Litari Sunday, a Sunday where we are invited to rejoice because we have made a halfway through the preparation towards the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the suffering, death and resurrection of Christ. And we did this not by our mind, not by our strength, not by our abilities, by the grace of God. Hence, today's theme is, it is by the grace and mercy of God. Sometimes we are tempted to ascribe certain achievements, certain success, certain progress in our life to our own abilities, to our own strength, and to our own knowledge. However, that is not so. Even our righteous deeds, sometimes we tend to claim that we are those who are able to do those deeds. No. Every good thing comes from the Lord. So whatever progress, whatever achievement, whatever success, if it is good, it comes from the Lord. Even in our weakness, the mercy of God, the grace of God is available for us. The first reading of today from 2 Chronicles chapter 36 indicates to us that in the unfaithfulness of the priest and the people of Israel, God punished them. In our punishment, God still shows us mercy. He punished them to go into exile, the exile of the Babylonians, where they spent many years in exile, the exile of poverty, the exile of pain, the exile of tears, the exile of sorrow, the exile of leaving their comfort homes, the exile of not being able to practice their religious worship, the exile of living what you don't want to do. This is what they went through. At the right moment, God's mercy, God's grace came to their aid. God used Cyprus, the king of Persia, to save them from the exile which they went into. They went into exile. Why? Because one, they did what was wrong against God. They failed to obey the commandments of God. They made mockery of the messengers of God, the prophets of God. They laughed at them. They scolded them. They made mockery of them. Hence, they went into exile. But God did not look on their unfaithfulness, on their sins, and He showed them mercy. In our weakness, in our hopelessness, the mercy of God is available. The mercy of God is available to us whether you are a sinner, whether you are a righteous person, whether you have disobeyed God, whether you do what is right or what is good. God's mercy is always available. And it's always available not only to you, but to every individual. Not to only Christians, but non-Christians as well. We Christians now enjoy the fullness of God's grace and mercy through Jesus Christ. In the Gospel of today, from John 3, verse 14 to 21, we are told that God gives us His only Son, that whoever believes in Him will have eternal life. And eternal life is basically the fullness of God's grace. Eternal life is the fullness of God's mercy. So that you will not perish. You will not go into eternal damnation. The call to believe in Jesus Christ is a call to come to the pool of God's grace. It is a call to come to the pool of God's mercy. And at the pool of God's mercy, and at the pool of God's grace, we become 
the beneficiaries in its totality the grace and the mercy of God. The call to also believe in Jesus Christ is a call to avoid sin and evil. It's a call to drift away from darkness and come to the light. But we can do this by the grace and the mercy of God. So today we rely totally on the grace and the mercy of God that is being spoken of in the second reading of today that we can make it by the grace and the mercy of God. We pray that the mercy of God and the grace of God should lead us in our preparation towards the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. May our preparation be fruitful. May our almsgiving be fruitful. May our fasting be fruitful. May God answer all our prayers. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Stay blessed and enjoy the rest of the season.